Morgan Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have a flip through of the new Mythographic Color and Discover Crystal Kingdom, an artist coloring book of prismatic playgrounds. So this is by uh, Veronica Kolinska, I believe. Uh, they're a new artist to the Mythographic roster. I'm trying to hold this so you guys can see the cover and um, for whatever ever reason, the uh, the lettering on this, uh, my camera is uh, is not picking it up quite uh, quite the nicest. So, but it's got a super pretty uh, pretty cover. I watched part of someone else's flip through just just to get enough of an idea of whether or not I wanted to pick the book up. But I haven't seen the entire book. So I thought for uh, today's video, I would share this with you guys, since if you've watched my recent live streams, you know that I have been uh, quite into the mythographic books lately. So I am hoping there's some fun images in here uh, for us to, uh, to work on. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, this cover is a little, a little stiff. So uh, same... If you're uh, familiar with the other uh, mythographic books, it is a relatively square format. Uh, it's nice cardstock. Uh, it's hard to see on this image right here, but these are perforated. Now, I have noticed that the last uh, few mythographic books that I've gotten, the perforations have been a little bit stronger. I have a couple of the, uh, the earlier books uh, that... Uh, as you you know, I started working in the book, the perforations actually separated. So I think it was Wild Winter was the one that a bunch of the pages actually fell out. So, but it's a uh, nice cardstock. I have used light water mediums on this. Uh, if you wanted to use like ink tents with uh, a water blender or something of the sort, uh, it handles pretty well, you know, with the the obvious you have to be careful uh not to uh hit the paper too hard or it will pill um single sided so if you want to use alcohol markers you have that option i know some people don't like the 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 ghosting on the markers through the back but it is an option should you so choose so let's go ahead and uh, take a look here This is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel like about the planets though on this one. They just seem a little um a little like not with the theme of the picture. But I do like this uh this castle. Oh, this one's cool too. I like this one. So this one, this one might end up uh, in a future live stream or a video. Let's see if I can get us just a little closer here. If you hear chirping in the background, I have a little friend in uh in the office with me um lorna is in the the background she happened to be in here when i shut my door and now she is now she is uh terrorizing things this was the image that i saw in the other flip through that i thought looked really cool that i uh, i kind of wanted to uh to tackle but uh yeah so this one i thought looked interesting as well and i figured i would um this was kind of the the seller for me to to get the book i like this one too it's like as we're flipping through i'm trying to uh I'm trying to like plot out color schemes in my head. Oh, let me move 
that just a little. Oh, this one's, this one's interesting. Seriously, though, what's with the, what's with the planets, the random planets? Like, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the random planets. I do like the jellyfish, though. This one's, this one's cute, too. I could see myself doing this one. This was the, the other one. Um, this one definitely piques my interest. I think she's supposed to be, are these butterfly? I think these are butter, like butterfly wings. Because she's got some up here. But, man, if you like doing hair, this would be the image for you. Interesting. This one's kind of cool, too. It's like a little geode city inside a geode. So we were having a discussion about the mythographic books uh, in, um, I think it was Ryan's last uh, live stream, and I mentioned it, too, in uh, my live stream. Man, they are pumping these books out. It, uh, it seems like they've got one on the docket every, like, every two to three months over the next, like, year or so. And I feel like every time I go, um, I go back in, uh, to, to look, there's, like, more. This one's cool, also. I think I might, um, I might add this one to my, to my docket of things I want to color. This one reminds me of, like, a scene from a movie, but I can't really, like, off the top of my head think, like, where, like, what exactly it reminds me of. This one's interesting, too. I could see, like, so the background on this one, I, I think would be really cool done with ink tents.
Ooh, I like this one also. There is some really cool images in here. Oh, I like this one, too. Again, this one would also probably be really cool with, uh, with ink tents. It's like a crystallized beehive. This kind of has like a disco ball, like with the lines coming out like this. Kind of reminds me of like a disc, like a disco ball, like old '90s school dances when they used to put the disco ball up in the in the gym, and it just reflected off of you know the the shiny gym floor. More random planets. Oh my. It's a gorgeous image, but this would this this is going to this is going to take forever. I think Ink Tense is going to be this book's book's friend for like a quick medium. I know I've been using polys in the uh Fairy Wonderland book, but there's a lot of uh like smaller details I think so far in this this one. Oh I like this one. I'm not even gonna say it. I feel like you guys know what <laughs> what my comment is gonna be. Oh, this one's cool, too. I like this one. The Spiders. Oh, this is fun. I like the uh the the characters uh are repeated throughout the book. I feel like we've seen this uh this girl before and she's probably one of the uh the hair characters and then we got we got mystery guy up here. Got a lot of winter themed images in here too with like the snowflakes and things like that.
But this is cool. I have some ideas for this. Uh, since I, um, I'm working on the, uh, the grasshopper image from Fairy Wonderland, I could use my green combo for, for the, uh, these guys. interesting i believe this is a a seahorse i see the little like nose up here okay that's definitely a disco ball Definitely some I ideas. I like this one too. I think on some of these, depending on how I cho choose to color it, I would probably take a paint pen over some of these lines. Oh, that is gorgeous. I like this one a lot. And that is uh, the last image. So let me go ahead and flip this back. So yeah, so that is my uh, flip through for Crystal Kingdom, uh, Mythographic Crystal Kingdom by Veronica Kalinska. I will leave a link to, I got my copy on uh, Amazon, so I'll leave a link in the uh, description below if you are interested in uh, purchasing this one. Um, it's interesting and it's it's nice to uh, see them adding you know new new illustrators to their roster. Uh, I'll you know I'll say it's probably not my favorite of the recent uh, books that have come out, but there are definitely some images in here that I could uh, see myself uh, coloring um, you know especially on. The Tuesday live stream. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Uh, you know, do you did you pick this book up? Are you going to pick this book up? Uh, what are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm I'm interested to hear. Um, and yeah, so uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support uh, for me and for the channel. Uh, I feel like we had a really strong strong January. You know, trying to get back into uh, content creation. 
I do live streams on Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and I try and put out at least uh, one to two uh, videos a, a week. Um, yeah, so it would mean the world if you would give this video uh, a like, drop a sub, leave a comment. It helps me feed YouTube's algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.